Hey guys, it's Solvstan. Today, welcome to Trading to 500k episode 2.5. And before I go into the video, if this video gets a 100 thumbs up, I'll try and get another episode of this series out as quick as I possibly can for you guys. So, um, episode 2.5, of course. I do once again apologise for the inconsistency of this series. But let's go over to the players who sold on, who's not sold on. Well, pretty much everyone sold on who I listed for. Um, I have sold on a few Crescitos, only about two. I might go list up a few more, like the ones I bought for 10k, 11k. I might do that at the end of this episode. Because, of course, you are coming to the end of FIFA, and I do want to get this series done. However, I did buy two Crescitos for about uh, 16k, so I'm going to leave those ones there. Because Crescito currently is going for about 16 to 17k. So, basically, the Al Shamrani, which I, of course, bought for 50k, sold them for 14k in the end. He didn't sell on the first time, however, I listed them up overnight and there was a limited amount of him on the market, so I chose to actually rise his price overnight. He did go and sell on for that. And Gashi sold on for 27,250 coins. And by the end of that, we now got 130k, but remember, we've got all these players to sell on hopefully soon. So I'm going to go and do some trading, hopefully find some deals. And I'll be back with you guys when I do when I do find a deal. Alright guys, welcome back. We have found the first deal of this episode. And it's going to be on Killian Brandon once again. So, one for 17,500 coins. Another for 18,750 coins. And the rest for 25k, as you can see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these both up. And hopefully, we should be able to get a nice little profit. According to Footbin, his average bin as well is 27,000 coins on Xbox. And 33,000 coins on PlayStation. So it seems like a really good deal. And hopefully it will pay off. So I'm going to send to my trade pile. And I'll be back with you guys in a bit with another deal. Alright guys, welcome back. And I have found another potential deal. This time it's on the one and only Patrick McSunley. 11k for him is a bargain. Considering the fact that his price was like 22k a week ago. Because if you guys remember, I did of course do a market manipulation thing. Thing my bob on him, whatever you want to call it. So, the fact I got one for 11k, the lowest bin is about 17k on foot end. Unfortunately, he's not on foot bin for some reason. I don't know why, but foot bin has not got some informs on their database. They need to fix that. But I know that's a really good deal for 11k. So, I'm going to send to my uh, trade pile and I'll quickly tell you what I'm doing, guys. Basically, I'm on foot end, just searching through all the players. Just for example, I went to foot head, looked at Mick Salony, put his name in the search engine, and I just looked if there were any deals, and I found one. It's that simple. There's no real complex thing to it. So I'm going to send it to my trade pal. I'll be back with you guys when I've gone and found another deal. Alright, guys, welcome back. We have found a potential deal. His name is Ricardo Santos. His lowest buy now price is 18,250 coins. Next cheapest, as you see, is 53,000 coins. And according to Foothead, his cheapest bin is about 27,000 coins on Xbox and PS3. In fact, it's 57,000 coins on Xbox, which I think is a little bit too high. So I'm going to go with the 27,000 coins on PS3. So that's a really good deal. So I'm going to send to my trade pile. And I think we may be finished for this episode. Have we got 64k? I'll get one more. I'll get one more deal. So the back with you guys, I've now found one more deal. Alright guys, welcome back. We have found another deal. Or another few deals, I should say. His name is De Poitra. Now, this Rip FC guy's listed up five of him for about 18,750 coins, 19k. Now, there's two here listed by Rage FC and Pancake going for 9.8k and also 10k. So, I could probably try and sell these ones up for about 15k, which is a 5k profit on each. Thanks to that Ripper guy, or Rip FC, I should say, listing them up for 18, 19k. So, I'm going to send them to my trade pile. I'll be back with you guys in a bit with the trade pal as this is the end of the episode for the trades. Alright guys, welcome back and it's time to list the players. So we're going to list... Wait, which one should I do? I'll do this one first because it's the more expensive. I'm going to list this Brennan up, Brennan up for 23,000 coins. And then what I'm going to do with the other one is I'm going to list that one up for about 28,000 coins. So people once again think that the one going for 23,000 coins is a great deal. That's of course my market manipulation method. McSanley is a bit of a weird one. I'm going to go with 18k. I don't think we're selling for that, but you never know as he's the only one on the market. This Ricardo Santox next cheapest is 50k. So, you know you know what? I'm just going to go with a very audacious 40... No, that's a bit too audacious. We're going for 36k. If he doesn't sell on, again, i got a lot of leeway with his price. And uh, finally, the De Portres, of course. I'll list this one up for 15k. K first of all, no, we go for yeah, we go 15k. That's a good, nice amount. 
and the other one wherever, wherever it is, it's right here, will go listed up for 20k. So the one go 15k seems like a really good deal. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of trading to 500k episode 2.5. I would appreciate if you guys can go drop a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, iHarpsHD, I would appreciate that as well. So make sure to go drop a like, subscribe to Harpstar, and to course 100 thumbs up for the next episode of the series out really quickly, hopefully. So smash that thumbs up button. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.